I started a beginner series where I would go more in depth on different parts of makeup. So last time I did like a full face routine, so I will link that down below. And today I'm going to be doing eyeshadow and all about blending and what colors to use and all that good stuff. Next video I was thinking about either doing eyeliners or in like applying eyeliners or doing brows. So let me know which one you would rather see first. But I probably will end up doing both of them unless you guys don't want me to. So for this tutorial I don't want you guys to really focus on what eyeshadows I'm using. I want you guys to focus on the colors I'm using. I am using my Lorac Pro palette because I I think it has a good um, range of like beginner shades. Um, feel free to use like a Wet n Wild palette. They're great and super inexpensive. They're really good quality. The reason why I wanted to use this one as opposed to a Wet n Wild because I actually was going to use my Wet n Wild, but the Wet n Wild just had so much shimmer in it. I wanted to be able to use mostly mattes because I feel that's super flattering and um, it kind of gives you a little leeway if you might mess up on your eyeshadow. Um, so I'm just going to be using these. I'm going to be using some brown shades. First things first, you want to apply eyeshadow primer. This is one thing I would recommend getting high-end. I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, Lorac also has one, too, that came with the palette. Usually a lot of the smaller ones come with palettes, and this trial version of eyeshadow primers lasts forever. I've had this big one for maybe like a year. Really long time. But even if you use the eyeshadow primer, it's going to make your drugstore eyeshadow just look so much more vibrant. It's going to make it last longer, and it's just such a huge, huge, huge difference. Okay, so I'm going to use this matte white color right here, and it's just going to act as my highlight for today. So I actually like to mix it a little bit with Nude, which is like a pinky shimmery color. So it's not completely white, and it has a tad bit of shimmer, but not too much. I like using shimmer when I'm using matte eyeshadows everywhere else. So we're just going to dab it under our brow bone. So it's going to really highlight it, and it's going to look really, really pretty when we are done. Now you also want to put a little bit in the inner corner right here into this tear duct area, like so. And that's really going to help brighten your eyes. It's going to make them look more awake, wider, bigger. So today what I'm going to be showing you is more of the classic way to wear eyeshadow with the light color on the lid, darker in the crease. But if you want to smoke it out, if you want to go dark on the lid and lighter in the crease and kind of fade it out, you could do it. That's the great part about makeup. You could kind of just do whatever you think looks good. But I'm just going to show you kind of like the standard way you would normally wear eyeshadow on a day-to-day -day basis. So after you highlight, you want to find your lid color. For my lid color, I'm just using this matte color here, which is taupe. I might mix in a little of this, of this um, golden brown color, which is light bronze. So you pretty much just pat it onto your lid. This is going to be the easiest part. And you know, some people just like wearing one color on their lid and that's it. And that's totally fine too. Next you want a transition color. What is a transition color? It's going to be something between this lid color and the darker color that you plan on using. Usually it's supposed to be a matte color that you kind of blend in the dark to so that way there's no harsh lines. So this is just going to be a way to kind of help us blend. Um, this palette, as you can see, I have this and then I have these two dark browns. So this one's almost too dark for a transition color. This actually works really well as a transition color. Say I wanted to use this gold on my lid, this would be my transition color. But since I did use this on my lid, I'm going to mix this and this color right here together to get a kind of medium shade. And then you're going to start in the outer corner in case you've got a lot on your brush. You don't want it to be super dark like in the inner corner. So start out here and then just kind of just place it and just move your brush back and forth. And then this is where my brush fits in the crease. So I could go just like this. But then I like to go a little bit above that and just blend it out into that highlight color. And then the, pretty much to blend, you just go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And you know, you do little circles just until you don't see any harsh lines at all. 
Now what I like to do is take that transition color and work it into under my lower lash line. That way I could really blend in my eyeliner with that eyeshadow so it's not going to be super harsh eyeliner. Now I don't always use this. Sometimes I just do, you know, your basic eyeliner. But you just want to put it on a, either a pencil brush or just like a flat eyeliner brush. And then just smoke it out. So now is a time we're really going to need to blend, blend, blend so we don't get any crazy lines. For my darkest color, I am mixing this color and this color. So Sable and Espresso. And that way I don't want either shade. I kind of want to mix in between the two. So I'm using an even more defined brush. The darker you go, the more defined brush you want to use because you don't want your colors to get super muddy. And you want to be able to tell there's different colors on your eyelid. Again, you want to start in this outer corner. like so with just a little bit on your brush and then just work it into the crease don't go up here like we did before just stay towards the crease and you don't want to go all the way into the center either you just want to stay in the outside with this dark color Now to really seal everything together, you want to go back in with a crease brush and I'm using this light taupe color here and I am just going to blend that in. Now this is optional but it does kind of totally transform your look. I love doing this especially if I'm wearing winged liner. You want to go back in with the concealer, preferably one that comes like more pressed, not a liquid concealer. And you just want to get just any kind of old brush. I use this one all the time for my concealer when I do this. Then you want to draw a line to clean this up right here. Kind of the same line you would go along if you're doing eyeliner. So you want to kind of measure it out like this. Put your finger here, go towards your eyebrow from your lower lash line. There should be like a distinct line. You don't want it to be way, way out here. So you could just clean up the edges. Just blend out the concealer with your finger and you could see how much of a straight line you got. And you could do it as, you know, you might want to smoke it out a little bit more there, but it just kind of helps shape them and get both of them more identical. Alright guys, so I just finished up this makeup look with my eyeliner and mascara. I did a bit of a wing and that's about it. Um, I went kind of dark. I'm not, I haven't been wearing like super dark eyeliner lately, so I, I like it. I might start again. Anyways, let me know what video you guys want to see next, whether it is the um, eyeliners and I plan on doing like pencil, gel, liquid and like how to apply them and stuff. Or if you would rather see the brow next, I will probably end up doing them both, but just talk to me guys talk to me and um yeah so i will see you guys very soon bye all right guys all right all right all right instead of using a big instead of using a big and it just it just works that way this video as well